KXAN investigation takes our team hundreds of miles from the state capitol to the plains of West Texas. You've actually got to get on the ground and go get them. Searching for proof. This is probably the most critical document of the entire day. Inside a massive industry pumping billions of tax dollars into your schools, roads, and recovery each year. It's the all or nothing around here. A vast oil empire of money. There needs to be transparency. There needs to be disclosure. Power. What I saw was clearly appearance of bias. And ethics. There's only three of us. And we regulate the biggest industry in the state. Those three leaders elected statewide make up the Texas Railroad Commission. Perhaps the most powerful government agency in Texas, it has a misleading name has nothing to do with railroads, but everything to do with regulating Texas oil and gas. The commission's chair, Christy Craddock, is up for re-election next month, and in her first term, her well-known family profited off of oil companies linked to her own votes on the commission. Corporate interests kept quiet until KXAN investigator Jody Barr started digging. If you're really quiet and hold your breath, you can stand pretty much anywhere in West Texas and hear the heartbeat of the Texas economy. It's a 24-7 operation, and lots of people are striking black gold right now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Sergio Ortiz. You see the dollars rolling here, right? Yes, sir. He's become one of the most popular men in this West Texas oil patch. His family owns this tire repair shop in the town of Big Lake, a shop he almost closed three years ago when the oil boom busted. There have been some pretty down times that um, it's been where I don't know if we want to be doing this anymore. We, me, me and my wife actually have to sit down and think about, like, is it worth it? Now, as the U.S. oil supply shifts in Texas's favor, this area is seeing some of the highest per barrel prices in years. The Ortiz family can tell it too. They can barely stock enough tires to keep up with the tens of thousands of trucks rolling through each day. It's, it's the all or nothing around here. This meeting, the Railroad Commission of Texas will come to order. Christy Craddock is the first Craddock to chair the Railroad Commission, but the family name spans decades in Texas government. Have all voted, Mayor. Her father, Tom Craddock, was the Texas House Speaker. Mr. Speaker, members, back to my explanation. Today, he's Midland's state representative. The Craddock oil businesses go back just as far, with oil interests spread across 22 Texas counties. Records we found show Christy Craddock holds potentially millions of dollars in oil interest. Not that surprising. It's what she's voted on as chair of this regulatory body that got our attention. Our investigative team traveled into the heart of Craddock country. We made the trip because tracking the family's oil interests is complicated since only a couple counties post the records for the public to see online. We drove a few thousand miles, made stops in a dozen West Texas courthouses, searched through decades of land and oil records, and uncovered evidence that Christy Craddock and her family are doing personal business with many of the oil companies she regulates from her seat of power. Like in January. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion passes. Those items are approved. Craddock voted on a rule change, easing restrictions on this Reagan County oil field known as Ringo 9. County records show Tom and Christy Craddock own mineral rights in this field through two separate companies, Craddock Partners Limited and Christy Craddock's personal company, Quarry LLC. The Ringo 9 wells produced 58,000 barrels of oil in the past year. By our calculations, these wells pumped out around $5 million in oil and gas production. Railroad Commission records show Craddock did not disclose her interest in this well. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion passes. Those items are approved. That's just one of the cases we found. Are approved. Those items are approved. Motion passes. Items approved. Thank you. State records show Commissioner Craddock also voted on rule changes to help produce more oil in different oil leases and oil fields across Texas, where the Craddocks own mineral interests. 
Christy Craddock's annual financial filing shows several different oil operators paying the Craddocks tens of thousands of dollars each year. Those filings also show the Craddocks own stock in some operators. Those same companies brought business before the Railroad Commission. Those items are approved. Archive video shows Christy Craddock cast votes in favor of those same companies. Since 2014, Craddock voted more than 400 times on agendas related to those companies, and records show no evidence Craddock ever disclosed her ties. As an ethics advocate, what do you think when you see that? What I saw was clearly appearance of bias at least. Commissioners are voting on matters that they have financial stakes in. Adrian Shelley heads Texas Public Citizen, a government ethics watchdog group. The commission um, has a quorum. Shelley's group spent hours testifying before the Texas Sunset Advisory Commission in 2013. It determines whether a state agency like the Railroad Commission is doing an efficient and honest job for the people of Texas. Shelley's group found evidence they say shows railroad commissioners' political campaigns were funded mostly by oil companies they regulate. In some cases, those companies gave campaign cash, even while the commissioners were making decisions involving those companies. Did you have an idea at that time? that the oil interest when it came to Christy Craddock was as vast as it turns out to be. You know, I'm surprised uh, to learn what I've learned uh, based on your investigations. I don't want to see these sorts of specific holdings from a commissioner uh, that create the appearance of bias that I've seen here. We made multiple attempts to interview Commissioner Craddock and her father and business partner, Representative Tom Craddock. Neither agreed to interview. We found Commissioner Craddock at a September Railroad Commission meeting and sat up front to wait for the meeting to end. Craddock usually stays after meetings to sign orders, but this time she bolted. Thank you. Craddock rushed out a back door before we could even ask her a question. Ms. Craddock. We also checked the financial holdings of Craddock's fellow commissioners, Wayne Christian and Ryan Sitton. Outside of campaign contributions, our investigation did not find they're in business with oil companies. Commissioner Wayne Christian says his only investments are in general mutual funds. I don't know oil interest, no uh, very few royalty, no royalty, none, no royalty interest of any kind, no lease interest. So. I, I wish I did have a bunch of oil and gas investments. If you could buy that, would you buy that today and serve on this commission? Uh, I'd probably have to question that very close with my attorney and the ethics attorney. I have an ethics attorney. I would pass it by them, make sure that I'm following the rules and regulations, but I have no interest in doing that. Commissioner Ryan Sitton doesn't even want the perception he has a conflict of interest. Is it hard to separate yourself from this industry if you were financially tied to pieces of that industry. I just don't want people out there asking those questions. When we ask him about a scenario like Craddock's. If I'm voting on a, a, an item and I own direct interest in that item, it, a well, a disposal process, anything, a pipeline, then yes, that would be a conflict of interest. Some of what I have seen today is evidence for exactly why we need ethics reform. And I think that lawmakers who see that evidence uh, will think hard about what needs to be done at the Railroad Commission. We need folks who are willing to take a stand against that. The status quo is not enough here in Texas. Commissioner Craddock's staff sent a statement saying the sole purpose of each of Chairman Craddock's votes has been to ensure the enhancement and safe operations of the Texas energy industry, preventing waste and protecting correlative rights. Any suggestion to the contrary is entirely without merit, unconfirmed by her voting record, and unreflective of her integrity. Her father wrote to us he has two small working interests that he's owned for 40 plus years. The rest of his interests are minerals and overriding royalty interests, which have no say or conflict with the operations or permitting of the oil and gas property. But after living in Midland since the 1950s and becoming the longest serving lawmaker in state history, it's no surprise Tom Craddock is a big deal in West Texas oil.
Robert and Sydney? Yes, Jody, and we know he was even inducted into the Petroleum Hall of Fame just months after his daughter was elected to the Railroad Commission. We asked several times for an interview, but he refused to speak with us, even at this event in Austin. But what we've uncovered now has a different state lawmaker saying a lot. Do you believe there are things in these personal finances with these individuals that you all should have known when you were trying to put some fixes in place? Well, no question. A Texas House member plans to take another shot at reforming this powerful government agency. Plus, we head north. We're very strict on that. There is no wiggle room in that, and people have been terminated for violation of that. For the past half century, Oklahoma's found a way to avoid these problems. Could it happen with our commissioners, too? Find out tomorrow night on KXAN News at 10 as we continue our investigation into Texas's oil empire. And right now, drill deeper into this digital investigation as we walk you through the dynasty of power and money one family has created in the oil industry. Interactive explainers to break down the numbers, a timeline to see how the family has emerged as business boomed, and a video trip to West Texas to see how this investigation came together. Texas's oil empire, right now in the investigative section of KXAN.com.